Hello, Veteran 2 in here, welcome back, and this is another episode of Final Fantasy X Remaster. In this episode, I'm going to be showing off the next Dark Aeon of my choosing, and that is Bahamut. You know that armor I got a few episodes ago, to, you know, I thought maybe it was going to be worthless? Well, it's not. It's got ribbon on it, it's for Yuna, I need Yuna to have ribbon for this next battle because I'm going to be using her... Uh, be, to summon Aeons as meat shields, and I want her to fucking not be stoned. Because that's really fucking bad. Because not only do you get stoned, but you get fucking shattered. Which ejects that third character from the battle, which means you have to finish the battle with two characters. So yeah, that's really bad. And yeah, I put auto haste on there to uh, obviously make her turns uh, better. But yeah, I don't care about any of the other stuff like auto phoenix, auto protect... She shouldn't be out there too long for where that's going to matter. But as long as she doesn't get fucking stoned, we're good to go. Anyways, enough about that. Uh, yeah, my starting party is going to be a party of Riku, Orin, and Titus. And this guy is hanging around the spot that Unaleska was before. This guy would be blocking the sun cr uh, yeah, he'd be blocking the sun crest if you didn't get it before, so, uh, hopefully you did. Alrighty, this is Dark Bahamut. He has 4 million HP. 4 million! Every time you attack, every five times you attack this guy, I should say, uh, he counters with impulse, which puts stone on on your party and it inflicts full break on your party along with dealing damage it's really really bad anyways quick hits and quick hit and Riku hyper mighty guard for auto life okay so I attacked him twice that's uh, three times and four times. All right, now I want Orin to block this next attack. As you can see, the boss is about to have a turn. Uh, yeah, at max defense, uh, his physical attack is nothing to worry about as long as you're guarding. So yeah, uh, I don't want to attack him a fifth time because if he does attack Orin, or if, let's say I attack right now, and he uses impulse as a counter attack, that will nerf my party's defense, and then he'll do a physical attack, and if anybody's left, he'll kill that person. So that's that's really bad. So I just want to defend. All right, there we go. Then Orn will get a counter attack in, which is obviously good. All right, so I'm gonna attack him again here, and he's gonna encounter with something really bad. Yeah, with something really bad here. This isn't his worst attack, but it's definitely bad. Okay. So, this prompts me to use a healing water. And it also prompts me to use the spell. Yeah, make sure you have the spell for this battle. As you can see, uh, I've got a bunch of positive effects, but I also have Power Break, Magic Break, Armor Break, and Mental Break, which is bad. So you want to dispel that stuff. Great thing about the spell, it does not dispel uh, beneficial statuses like Auto... Ref or, yeah, Auto Life, Auto Reflect... I don't know... If, well, who cares about Auto Reflect? You're never going to use it anyways. <laughs> I don't even know, but I'm pretty sure it does. Anyways, attack number one. Yeah, want to dispel all this bullshit. All these breaks. Auto life is there just for a little extra insurance. Alright. So this asshole, he's about, he's, I don't know. How close is this guy getting to a full overdrive thing there? Well, you know what, it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to chance it. Sentinel. Uh... Yeah, you know what? I'm not even going to chance it. Yeah, he'll do a weak little physical attack. 
Nice little counterattack there. One. I think. Or was that two? Oh, man. <laughs> I don't even know. I forgot. Okay, now this thing is full. Which is bad. But uh, it's not that bad. Okay, yeah, he's gonna use Impulse again. That flicks a bunch of brakes. So naturally, I gotta dispel all that shit. Bring unit in here. Uh, and yeah, when this guy's overdrive gauge is full, he uses uh, Mega Flare, which uh, will kill you. Without a doubt. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if your stats are maxed or not. It will kill you. So you need to use an Aeon as a sacrificial lamb. And I don't even think Shield's gonna hold up against this guy. So we probably got a fourth of his HP down now, which is okay. Uh, if you're thinking about using attack overdrives, like, uh, freaking, uh, like attack reels and blitz ace slash slice and dice, don't bother. This guy's defense is so high that you're much better off just doing quick hits. Because, uh, they're always critical hits if you have a high enough luck. And you're always dealing qu quintuple nines. So to me, using overdrives on this guy is a is a waste of time. Don't even bother. One. Two. Three. Finally, I can get Yuna out of there. Four. Okay, this guy, yeah, he's about to have a turn pretty soon, so I need to, uh, ooh, well, I need to use a healing water. Not really for Orin, but for Titus and Riku. Okay, so you're going to defend. You are going to Sentinel. And, yeah, the great thing about counterattacks is they don't count against the counter. So yeah, you can counterattack, and it doesn't counter. You, basically, he can't counter a counterattack, if that makes any sense. I know it sounds kind of weird, but <laughs> it makes sense to me. Alright, so yeah, he's going to do impulse again right after this attack. That's alright. Spell action. So yeah, I'm actually using white magic for a change. How about that? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm gonna go for Sentinel again. Make sure this the spells here. And we should be good to go. I'll just defend. Bam. There we go. Oh, we got a bunch of extra turns to 
bring the pain to this guy, huh? Oh, he's hunched over. It means he's starting to get weaker. He's weakening! And now his overdrive gauge is full, which is really bad. Uh... Hmm... No. See, it's a little bit too risky to do that right now. So yeah, yeah I might as well just bring Yuna in here. Have her summon her next Aeon. Again, I just had auto life on my characters just as a little extra insurance. You don't really need it for this battle. Uh, I guess just attack. Oh man, you stink. You stink, man. But yeah, I don't think my Aeon's luck stat is high enough to hit this guy. That's probably why I can't hit him. Oh, he's gonna do impulse. It'll probably kill Yuna. But as long as it doesn't stone her, we're good. Oh man, we need to get her out of here, man. Seriously. Fucking bad. Why is she so fucking slow, man? Holy shit. Ah. Uh, well. Damn turns are not working out the way I want them. Right now. Okay. Riku, I need you to use the spell on yourself. I think Riku's gonna have to act as the tank right now. Yeah, the spell on I think I got Sentinel with her. I don't remember if I do or not. I think I do. Uh, yeah, you... Spell on you... Please tell me you got Sentinel. She doesn't have... Oh, fuck. Well, whatever. I'll just guard. His physical attack won't be that strong. Yeah, all right, there we go. And a counterattack. All right, perfect. I like it. I like it. All right, Yuna, you get the hell out of here. I don't need you anymore. Eesh. Uh, we can start hitting this guy now, right? <laughs> Lost track of what was going on there. Two. I think that's two. Three. Four. Okay. That's definitely four. And just to make sure Orin isn't. Okay, he's good to go. So I just want to guard with you, guard with you, Sentinel Orin, of course, and guard. And a free attack. Alright. So yeah, he's going to use Impulse on this next one, of course.
I quick hit your ass? Yes, I can. One. That's one. I got one attack on him. I gotta remember that. Alright, it looks like his overdrive thing is getting pretty full there. Might be full after he attacks. Yep, it's full now. Bam! Eat it! Alright. Two! Three. Four. And, uh, do I want to risk it? No, no, actually I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring Yuna in again. Now, you might be asking yourself, why don't you just let the guy kill you since you have auto life? Well, you actually get less turns that way, being brought back from auto life. So, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. I mean, it does help. It definitely helps for your Jimbo, but not this guy. Uh, yeah, just attack. God, none of you Aeons can hit this guy. Oh, shit. Now he's using Impulse on Ixion. And now he's using Mega Flare. Hey, that's perfect! Got rid of the Impulse and the Mega Flare. All with one Aeon. Nice! Damn, I didn't even think to try it that way. Good job, Ixion. You were perfect. Alright, so the counter should be at one again, right? And I don't have to worry about impulse for right now. That's one. That's two. That's three. Get out of here, Yuna. That's four. Sentinel, guard, guard. Bam. And yeah, we're gonna see an impulse here. Oh no, wait, no we're not. He's dead. Yeah. There you have it folks, Dark Bahamut. And, uh, Soul of Mog? Really? What kind of garbage is that? <laughs> but I got a couple Master Spheres. I guess his common drop is Dark Matter, of course. But yeah, I, I keep getting Master Spheres. Uh, Soul of... Oh, yeah, maybe I should check this out here. One MP cost and break damage limit. Shitty. Much rather have... Yeah, I mean, the Onion Knight's just better. But, I don't know. I don't use Lulu anymore. Magic is kind of, at this point, worthless. So, there you have it. That's Dark Bahamut. Uh, in, the next episode, uh, in the next episode, I'm going to be showing off Dark Anima. So, yeah, that should be fun, huh? Uh, there is something we got to do first at Gagazette uh, before Anima will actually show up in a certain area. So, I'll be showing that off as well. So, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.